Hi, Sidra. Thank you so much for sending in your essay for correction. Uh, this is lots of good stuff in this letter, uh, and I had a really good time reading it. Uh, I want to just make a few comments which I hope will help you as part of the feedback and help you to improve. Uh, now, just I've highlighted a few things which I'm going to mention to you. This is a lovely start. I'm really excited to be. Now, instead of a part of, I would say uh, staying with your family next month in London. So staying with your family. So you're introducing yourself here. I've been enrolled in the student exchange program, no S, at Cambridge, where I will be doing my research. So I'm assigned to do my research is a bit formal. A lot of your language here is a little bit formal. The register you need for this kind of letter is neutral to informal. So the examiner will be looking for quite natural sounding English. This is too, too, too formal. Uh, so I'll be doing my research related to my major English literature. Okay, your word count uh, is much too high. You're on 213 words and you need 150. Uh, the examiner will stop marking after 160, 165. So you need to cut quite a lot. Um, you could cut that whole bit. Uh, my program at Cambridge. You could take out that sentence uh, if you're if you're editing and cutting words. Uh, this opportunity will enable me to learn more about the language. Yes, uh, I'm looking forward to uh, studying English and the English people, or getting to know English people. Uh, again, this sentence, just uh, I change it to something a little bit more relaxed, or you could cut it completely. So, your next uh, bit here. Uh, I'm writing to inquire you about the city's culture now. Um, I'm writing to find out about the city's culture and its traditions. Mm, again, a little bit formal, um, I would say, and what I should visit, or if there's anything in particular I should visit when I'm there. Uh, so again, I just changed, changed around that sentence. Uh, the weather's quite unpredictable. <laughs> okay, uh, I know the weather is unpredictable. That's a great word. Well done. Very good there. Or I gather is another way of saying I've heard. The weather's unpredictable. So, um, uh, so should should I bring so should I bring a jacket? Should I bring a hat? Again, you need to cut words, so I would just keep that a bit uh, take a bit out of that. Um, okay, I've heard about. I really like this. I've heard about London's metro system that is quite cheap. So I would say um, I've heard I've heard that buses are cheaper than trains. Um, in fact, it's probably the other way around. I've heard that yeah, I've heard that buses are cheaper than trains. Um, so, could you tell me which would be the cheapest way to get to university? Again, it's a bit long. I've suggested you change it to, as far as transport's concerned, would a bus or a train be the best way to get to Cambridge? Uh, so, just uh, cutting out a few words and just making it sound a little bit more natural there. Okay, I will be reaching, I would just say I arrive. You can use the present tense when you're talking about uh, plans and future time when you're talking about timetables. So I arrive on 23rd of May at Heathrow. Yep, you don't need Heathrow Airport if you're going to cut words. You don't need that one. Uh, I might get late. Take out that sentence. You don't need that. Um, so I would say um, I. Uh, it would be great. Yeah, it would be great here if you could meet me at the airport. So it would be great if you could meet me at the airport. And I'm counting the days. Okay, this is lovely expression, idiomatic, very good, well done. I'm counting the days. I'm counting the days to my stay or to meeting the rest of your family or the rest of, yeah, the rest of the family at your place. Yeah, okay. Me, to meet England, you need ing. The rest of the family at your place. Okay, uh, so instead of thanking you here, you just need to say, uh, I look forward to seeing you or I look forward to hearing from you. So you need to do little, or you've got a little bit I look forward to there. You can put regards or kind regards or something like that. So thanking you is not a, a good ending. Okay, so just going back as a summary, you've got some really, really good stuff there. You absolutely understand your paragraphs, you've got your intro. You've got your requesting information and you're telling when you're arriving. So you're absolutely doing what the examiner wants in terms of task achievement. So great on that one. 
your grammar looks really good to me. You've got a nice showing of tenses here. Uh, all the way through, you've got a good range here of tenses. You've got a good range of fixed expressions. I'd like to inquire. Um, I've heard about counting the days. I really like that. Uh, you're showing, oh, here, I might get late. You're showing some really good use of English, which is fantastic. Vocabulary is good uh, as well. So I'm really happy about so much in here. It looks great. Uh, just my comments, so make it a little bit more neutral to informal um, and take out some of these sentences. It's very important to edit before you send in your essays because uh, the examiner will, will stop marking, as I say, after about 160. Okay. Uh, so really well done on this task. It's a great idea to get some feedback. I don't know when your exam is, but really, really good luck with all your preparations. Uh, if you've got a task two essay, look forward to reading that as well. And we'd like you to do the corrections on this. So if you can rewrite it uh, and send it back to us, that would be absolutely fantastic. Uh, also have a look at some of the online courses which we're doing, which may help you just uh, get this um, writing absolutely perfect. So good luck. Well done. Thank you very much.